This is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be solving a very complex equation. <laughs> Literally. We have a plus bi to the power 2024, which is this year, right? Still, we're in November. And that is equal to a plus, I mean, a minus bi. So, we could definitely use the binomial theorem. I don't think so. I mean, we could, but who wants to deal with 2025 terms? I don't. And I don't think you do either. So, I'll be presenting two methods. And let's start with the first one. Now think about this problem for a minute. We've done a similar problem before, but I wanted to pick this exponent uh, particularly because we're still in 2024. This is not like a Happy New Year video, by the way, but hopefully I'm going to make a video for 2025. Okay, that'll come up soon before you know it. So let's start with the first method, as I said earlier, and let's use the conjugate. If you're new to complex numbers, go ahead and check out my lecture videos. I made a playlist of basics of complex numbers, I think nine videos. And after that, I made a bunch of other videos that solve problems of different levels, basic, medium, and hard. Hard problems are not that many, but hopefully I'm going to be adding a little bit more. And if you have any ideas about playlists, suggestions, problem ideas, always, always let us know in the comment section down below. There's also a form you can submit, but I rarely check it, so I'm not good with that, sorry, <laughs> I admit. So, how do we use the conjugate? We take a plus bi to the power of 2024. We multiply it by a minus bi. Actually, never mind. We multiply by a plus bi itself, same thing, because on the right-hand side, we already have the conjugate and we multiply it by its conjugate. So the conjugate of the conjugate is the same thing. Make sense? On the left-hand side, because we're multiplying two things with the same base, no matter how complex they are, this is considered the first power, right? We get a plus bi to the power 2025, and that's equal to the product. Now, you got to remember, if you or check the lecture videos, right? We talked about these. If you multiply two conjugates, you get a real number. That's what's so special about these conjugates, because when you add them, you also get a real number, which is super duper unique. So what do you get? Normally, you should be getting difference of two squares, but because i squared is negative one, you knew that, right? If not, please memorize, because you're always going to need it. Come on. That's very important. So because i squared is negative one, this turns into a squared plus b squared, which is sum of two squares. Some people say in algebra, oh, sum of squares cannot be factored. False. With complex numbers, you can factor sum of two squares. Of course, I'm not talking about sum of fourth powers where Sophie Germain applies. That's a different story. And I made videos on Sophie Germain too. You can also check him out. I made a lot of videos, probably thousands. I don't know the number, but it's probably in thousands. Anyways, I have another channel, by the way, which is called Cyber Math. In case you didn't know, you can also check. Oh, oh, I can't even spell. Well, notability sometimes goes crazy and doesn't allow me to write something. I have to write super fast so it doesn't mess up the writing. Okay. Anyways, that's my other channel. Go ahead and check out a lot of algebra and number theory videos, geometry a little bit. So let's go back to this after a little commercial break. What do you do with this? A plus bi to the power of 2025 equals a real number. What does that mean? That means we can take the 2025th root on both sides and find the answer, right? Easy. How do you find it, though? Well, if you just take the 2025th root, then you would be getting something like this, okay? Something like this, right? Does it look good? I don't think so. We'll make it better because this is just the first method, kind of like an intro to the idea, just to warm you up and maybe give you something that you probably wouldn't use in general. But what's the purpose? The purpose is to give you tools to use. You don't have to use the first method. You don't have to use the second method. You can come up with your third method if possible. And if you do, make sure to let us know in the comment section down below. Okay? Now, you can... What's our goal? Our goal is to solve for A and B, right? I think the first slide said that, did it? Okay, I think so. Now... We're trying to solve for a and b, but 
we only have a single equation. So how do you find a and b from here? Well, here's the thing. I don't know a squared plus b squared. It's not given, right? So if I don't know that, I can't find a plus bi. But wait a minute. Isn't a plus bi a real number from here? Well, not necessarily because the 2025th roots of a number, there are 2025 of them. And in this case, only one of them will be real. Make sense? Only one of them can be real. So the, all the others are non-real. Okay, great. So that's what we need to find. But anyways, you get the idea. We found a real number, which is nice. Now, can we make this better? Yes, and the method is called the second method. All right, let's take a look. We have the equation a plus bi to the power 2024 equals a minus bi. And what we're going to do is basically try to find a and b from here. But we're going to make it easier on ourselves. So why don't we use some substitution, okay? What is substitution? I'm going to call this c. And z equals a plus bi. Why did I do that? For two reasons. Because this will help us solve the problem and find a squared plus b squared. We couldn't find it with the first method. Second reason, actually that should be the first reason, sorry. It's the name of this channel, right? Did you know that? Hopefully you do. z equals a plus bi and z bar, which is the complex conjugate, is a minus b obviously, right? Great. So now let's go and make the replacements z to the power 2024 equals z bar. This kind of eliminates the burden on us trying to find a and b from a single equation because this is going to turn into something amazing. Ready for the hocus pocus math and magic? Okay, we're going to do the same thing. It's not, not something special, but we're going to multiply both sides by z. Let's do it. And when we do, we're going to get the same thing, z to the power 2025. Remember, we got that, but with an a plus b i, which look more complicated. Now, this one gives me what? It gives me the absolute value of z squared. You got to remember that. Because if z is equal to a plus b i, the absolute value of z, oops, I put the square root sign, my mistake. The absolute value of z is going to be the square root of a squared plus b squared. If you square both sides, you get that. Now, what is so important about this equation? Here's the thing. If you take the absolute value on both sides, because if two complex numbers are equal, their absolute values are also equal. There's no reason to take the absolute value twice because this already makes it a real number. So now this is going to turn into the following. Wow, isn't that crazy? Now, from here we get something super nice. Let's go ahead and call absolute value of zr. We get r to the power of 2025 equals r squared. Don't cancel out anything. Put everything on the same side and then factor, and you're going to get your lucky number last year or two years ago, two to, two to the power, I mean, r to the power 2023 minus one. Okay, great. Now, if r squared is equal to zero, then r is equal to zero. r equals zero means a squared plus b squared equals zero. Because a and b are both real numbers, this means z is equal to zero. That's not very interesting, is it? But it's still one of the solutions. Think about it. If z is 0, 0 to the power of 2024 is 0, which is the same as a minus bi. Make sense? Great. This is more interesting. Let's go ahead and do it. r to the power of 2023 equals 1. Remember, r is a real number. It's the modulus. Come on, it can't even be negative. So this means r is equal to 1. Does that mean? It means that we have a complex number, which we've written as, remember the equation, and then we multiply both sides by 1, I mean z, and then this gave us z times z bar, which was absolute value of z squared, which is r squared. But if r is 1, r squared is 1. Therefore, as a conclusion, z to the power of 2025 equals 1. Uh-oh. Don't we get 1 from here? That's the only real solution. Remember, I told you about that. But the other solutions we can find by looking at roots of unity. And roots of unity. And in this case, n equals 2025. So z is going to be then e to the power 2 pi n i, again, notability or apple pie, calm down, 2 pi n i divided by 2025. n can be 0, 1, dot, 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 all the way up to 2024. And you'll find all the roots. These are all the solutions to our 
equation. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.